Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great today our lecture is related to chapter 14 which is sets and exercises 14c your book is new syllabus mathematics 2 okay today our lecture is related to practice now 9 I am going to explain you practice now 9 and it's given on page number 412 on your textbook okay gee. practice now 9 so just remember that in old book is chapter 14 but in new book it's chapter three okay gee. so practice now 19 the question is practice now nine the question is identify and share the following regions on separate Venn diagrams okay here the Venn diagram is given and uh, two sets are given x and y and we have to find out the following parts and the first part is the first part is x complement union why okay students we will do this uh, step by step we have to solve it through the Venn diagram and we will solve it step by step okay the very first step is you have to find out x complement x complement mean that you have to subtract x from the universal set okay this is okay this is what I'm going to do this is your Venn diagram okay This is your Venn diagram. Inside the Venn diagram, there are two sets, X and Y. Okay, G. So, you have to subtract X from the universal set. Okay, X complement means that you have to subtract X from the universal set. Okay, G. Suppose that you are subtracting X from the universal set. So, what is left? That part you have to shade. Subtract X. So which part is left? This all uh, part of the universal set is left. We will shade it like this. Okay. And y, you will also shade this part because you are subtracting x from it. So you have subtracted this whole x from the universal set. So the rest part you will shade it and this is showing that this is x complement all right but we have to find out x complement union y we have to find out x complement union y what does this mean it means that we have to find out the union of this and y okay g so the union of this is means that this part is also included Okay, G. I'm drawing the Venn diagram step by step. Basically, this is this is your answer which I'm going to find out. Okay, X complement union Y. Union means that together, combine. It means that you have to share the area in a combined way. First, we'll share this area which is X complement. It's already shaded. So, I'm going to shade it like this. Okay. Okay, this is X complement. We have to find out the union Y. Here you can see that Y is already shaded. Just this part is left. So you will also, uh, you will also shade this part like this. So now this is the answer uh, of part one, which is X complement union Y. First you have found X complement. So this is the shaded area. Then you found X complement union Y shaded all the area which, which includes Y also. Okay, X complement this area and Y also. Why this area was left? This was already colored. This was already shaded. So I have also shaded this left part. So this all is showing the answer of X complement union Y. I hope that first part is clear to you. Now let's come to second part. Okay, the X, a second part is X complement intersection Y. So basically we have to find out X complement first. In the very first step we have to find out X complement. So here I will do this step by step. X complement means that you have to subtract X from the universal set. So here this is the Y diagram. These are the two sets X and Y. And this is the universal set. And uh, you have to subtract X from the universal set. So what is left? Which area is left? Just this area is left because you are subtracting this set, this X. So this area is left. So you will share this area. 
Okay, this y is also included because you are subtracting x. So this whole circle is showing x. Okay, you have subtracted uh, subtracted x. So this is x complement. But in we have to find out x complement intersection y. What does this intersection mean? Intersection mean common. So you have to find out the common area and you have to uh, color that uh, area. Okay, G. So here you can see that in x complement, this is the area and in y, what is y? This is y, this whole is y. So what is common? The x complement is this all areas shaded and what is y? This is y, na? this is y. This is y and this half part is, okay, this half part is common in both y and in x complement. Here you can see that this half part is common, it is present in y and in x complement. So it's shaded, so this is the common area, so it means that your diagram will be like this because you just need to shade the common area, remember that intersection mean common which is common in both in x complement and y in x complement this area and y and this area because this area is present in x complement and this area is also present in y so it means that this area is present in both so that is common area and you have to shade that area like this this is x and this is Y. So which area is common? You have just have to shade that area. Just this area. This is X complement and in Y this area is also. This is the Y. So this area is present. This area is common in both in Y and in X complement. So you will just shade this area. Okay. This is your answer of second part. I hope that this part is clear to you. Now let's come to third part. Students, these questions need practice. When you will do the practice, then these concepts will be more clear to you. Okay, Ji. I'm trying my level best to clear your concept, but uh, again, it needs practice. Okay, students, third part is X union Y whole complement. So first you have to find out X union Y because this complement is outside the bracket. So first you have to solve the bracket, which is X union Y. Okay, Ji. Here this is the Venn diagram. You are having two sets together, X and Y. This is the universal set. This is X and this is Y. X union Y in both combined areas of X and Y. So this is X and this is Y. So you will shade it. This is union, X union Y. Union mean combined together. So you will shade all the area of X and Y together. So this is X union Y. You have uh, shaded combined area of X and Y. So now... We have to find out X union Y complement. X union Y whole complement. What does this mean? It means that you have to subtract X union Y from the universal set. So which area will be left? When you will subtract. Okay, gee. this is X and this is Y. This is a universal set. Okay, gee. you are subtracting this area. This is X union Y. You are subtracting this area, this whole area of X union Y from the universal set. When you, you will remove this, what is left, thus just this part is left. This part is left. So you will shade this part because you are subtracting X union Y. You are subtracting this area from the universal set. So when you will subtract this area, just this part is left. So I am going to shade this part. Okay, gee. so this is the answer of third part in which you have subtracted the union of X union Y from the universal set. So just this part is left, you have shaded that part. Okay, gee. I hope that this part is clear to you. Now let's come to fourth part. Okay, gee. part fourth is X complement, union Y complement. So first we will find out X complement and Y complement, then we will find out their union. Okay, G. X complement means that you have to subtract X from the universal set. So which area will be left if this is X and this is Y and this is the universal set. You are subtracting X from the universal set. So which area will be left? Just this area will be left. Okay, G. 
this area will be left because you are subtracting x from the universal set so when you will subtract it subtract it this area will be left in the same way when you will subtract y from the universal set you will be having you are subtracting y so we'll be having this part here okay g so this part is left okay g here over here you have subtracted x x complement mean you have subtracted x from the universal set so this this area is left except x and in this part you have subtracted y from the universal set so just this shaded area is left so now we have to find out x complement union y complement so in this here you can see the diagrams so here you have to find out the union of x complement and y complement so here you can see that what is left um, so it means it means that you have to shaded the combined area of x complement y complement here you can see that this all area is shaded except x but here x is also shaded and here y is shaded it means that except this area which is intersection part except this area you have to shade all the parts because thus this intersection area is not shaded in both in x complement and y complement so the all other area you have to shade it so here we are going to shade it all the area because we are finding out the union this is the universal set this is x and this is y we have to shade the combined area just this intersection area is not shaded in both so we will not shade it over here and we will shade rest of the area like this okay you can use color pencil while drawing one diagrams to shade the areas okay G. so this is the answer except this intersection for all other area is shaded so this is x complement and y complement we have shaded the combined area of these both figures okay G. and we didn't we didn't uh, shade this area because it's not shaded in both uh, x complement and y complement i hope that part four is clear to you now let's come to fifth part Okay, students, over here you have to find out uh, the x complement intersection y complement. It means that first we'll find out the x complement. x complement means that you have to subtract x from the universal set. So I'm going to subtract x and I will shade rest of the area. Just subtract x and shade rest of the area. So this is x complement. Now in the in second picture, you have to find out the y complement it means that you have to subtract y this is x and this is y you have to subtract y so it means that this area is left so you have to shade rest of the area except y because you are subtracting y from the universal set so just this area is left now we have to find out the intersection intersection means that you have to find out the common area of x complement intersection x in x complement and in y complement see both figures and see that which area is shaded in both pictures common mean that area is shaded in both pictures so which area is shaded and here you can see that except here it's not shaded and here it's not shaded x is not shaded over here and y is not shaded over here but except x and y this all area is shaded in both pictures so it means that that is the common area except x and y this all other area is shaded in both figures so it means that that is the common area and it means that that is intersection. So just this area is left. This area is present. This area is shaded in both figures. So it means that this is the common area. This is the common area which is present in both sets. So this is X complement intersection, Y complement. Intersection means common. Okay, G. So now let's come to the last part of this question. In this figure, first you in this part, x intersection y complement whole complement. First you have to solve this bracket and inside the bracket first you have to find out y complement. Y complement means that you have to subtract y from the universal set like this. 
when you will subtract y from the universal set all other area will be left so subtract y and shade the rest of the area here you are shading the rest of the area because you are subtracting y from the universal set you have subtracted y so just this area is left now you have to find out x intersection y complement x intersection y complement it means that you have to shade the common area of x and y complement so this is x now this is x this is x so except this part this x a this is x this area is present in both in x and in y complement so in, this is x basically this is x so this area this area is present uh, in both x co uh, y complement and in x so it means that that is the common area intersection mean common so we have to share the common area so here i am going to share the common area so what is the common area just this part this is the common area it is present in both x and in y complement so you will shade it and then we have to find out x intersection y complement over whole complement what does it mean it means that you have to subtract this x intersection y complement you have to subtract this you have to subtract this area from this universal set so when you will subtract this area okay this so all other area is left so you will shade all other area because you are subtracting just this area this is x intersection y complement you are subtracting x intersection y complement from the universal set so you are subtracting this area from the universal set so all other area is left okay do you like this this is x and this is y so except this area all other area is included because you are subtracting just this area this is x intersection y complement so all other area is left so you will shade all other area like this okay gee. sorry for my drawing i know that it's not that much good but i hope that the concept will be clear to you and uh, i hope today's lecture is clear to you and uh, take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. And Allah Hafiz.